Now, the bottle may say SPF 50, but is it really? New research from Consumer Reports reveals that many sunscreens may not be providing the protection they promise on the bottle. CBS 2's Dorothy Tucker has this original report. The summer sun signals a need to spray, put some on your face, or slather on the sunscreen. She's got really fair skin, so I'm always afraid that she's going to get a burn. When you choose a sunscreen, what are you looking for? Something that has a longer life, like the 80 and above. But are you getting what you pay for? We're concerned that some sunscreens may not provide the protection that they're promising on their label. In their company lab, Consumer Reports used volunteers to test 65 sunscreens with SPF claims of 30 or higher. 28 fell short. What difference does that make? you run the risk that it may not protect you the way that you expect it to. The worst two, Banana Boat Kids Lotion, SPF 50, and CVS Kids Sun Lotion, SPF 50, both tested at just SPF 8. It's um, disconcerting because I'm putting it on my children thinking that I'm going to get the best sunscreen possible, affordable, and then it's not what it says it is. But among the lotions, Consumer Reports top choice, La Roche-Posay, met its SPF of 60. We put the best and worst in a box and let moms choose before revealing the results. I know for a fact I have this one. Neutrogena, one of the top sprays, it met its claim of 70 SPF. I choose this one. Banana Boat Sport Performance. It claims that it's 100 SPF, but it's tested 36 SPF. So that's lower than I would expect, way lower. Yeah. So they're misleading. The expectation you're being protected from the sun when you're not can be dangerous. Repeated sun exposure like that will result in sunspots and fine lines and wrinkles and then in more severe cases, skin cancers. When you use sunscreen, how often do you reapply it? I would only put it on once for the afternoon. I don't use none. Why not? Uh, the melanin in my skin, good enough. We recommend sunscreen on all types of skin, whether it's fair skin, medium skin, or darker skin individuals. Dorothy Tucker, CBS 2 News. Dorothy, thank you. We reached out to the companies with the lowest sunscreen ratings. Both defend their products, calling them safe and effective. You can view the entire statements on our website, cbschicago.com. We also have a list of some of the best and worst sunscreens tested. The entire list is available in the July issue of Consumer Reports.